1.1, explanation of observable changes, name of the changes, and simple vapor pressure. Okay, this is a little animation for solids, uh, liquids, and gases. You're gonna need to learn the names of the phase changes between these three states of matter. Now, a plasma is a state of matter and a Bose-Einstein condensate, but we're not gonna get bogged down in such exciting things as that. I find it helps to think of everything in terms of uh, water vapor, water, and ice. So solid to liquid, that's gonna be melting, and liquid to solid, that's gonna be freezing, isn't it? Liquid to gas is gonna be evaporation, but that could be boiling if you're adding external heat to it. And gas to liquid, yep, that's condensation. Sublimation is solid to gas, and in my country, the opposite is called reverse sublimation, but the IB want you to use deposition for gas to solid. And you know what? Another word for evaporation could be vaporization. You're expected to know all of them. Welcome to my femtoscopically small Manhattan uh, apartment. This is an auto defrost freezer. Notice that there's no ice monsters in here. What happens is periodically it heats itself up and any ice uh, then sublimes into the vapor phase and you get no water so there's no drips or any problems like that. Shut the freezer door. Oh. Okay, this diagram is new for this syllabus. It's the temperature of a substance versus the amount of energy that you put into the substance. And the key to this is energy added at phase change goes into breaking interparticle forces and not raising the temperature. So as I heat up the solid, we turn on the uh, source of energy first of all. Okay, there we go. As I heat up the solid, the temperature increases until phase change. Now the temperature will plateau, the extra energy goes into breaking the solid into a liquid, melting it. Heating a liquid, hotter and hotter until phase change. Now the extra energy from the flame goes into boiling the liquid, the phase change from liquid to gas. It's unclear at the moment how much of this vapor pressure knowledge you need to know. No one's quite sure, but the basics are when the vapor pressure of a substance equals atmospheric pressure, it will boil. So the classic example is water. When the vapor pressure of water equals 100 kilopascals, the temperature is 100 degrees and the water will indeed boil. Up Mount Everest, the air pressure is lower there. So when the vapor pressure equals this new lower air pressure, the water will boil. In this case, it's 70 degrees C. And in a pressure cooker, a sealed uh, vessel that water boils at, at 120 degrees. Now, how can water boil at 120 degrees? Because there's an increased pressure there. So the vapor pressure can be higher before it boils. I'll link to a video below that gives more detail. But as I say, as yet, we're unclear how much the IB wants you to know.